going on gorillas. So I'm just coming back to uh, the site that got found by a ripper and just having a look around. And what I've noticed is I have a hell of a lot of, you see this? This has all been dug up, there's a hole in there. And then there's a mole there, a mole has come up there. Uh, walking around, I see why I had a lot of problems last year in this site. Because uh, I've got fucking moles underground, so that's why I was losing plants, because they were eating my roots. Look, that is not mine. I don't bring money to site or anything so whoever is uh, coming here has dropped some money motherfuckers fuck you isn't it wankers anyway hope you're all well guys and get the fuck out of here I uh, just thought I'd make a little video of what's going on. I've got a few plants out. Uh, weather seems to be changing a little bit next week. But they ain't too bad because I'm looking at the temperatures. And the temperatures are averaging about 15. Which is fine. So far periods will be absolutely fine next week. Temperature's not dropping cold. It's just that first week in May. If I remember correctly, last year, on the 3rd of May, we had a, we had a frost. And we lost about fucking 15 autos. Something. It's a load of bollocks. So, I'm going to wait to put my semi-autos and my autos out until, well, we'll, we'll go for the 1st of May, and then after that, well, I'll check the weather, so the weather's looking decent, no frost occurring, I'll put everything out on the 1st of May, but for my periods um, I'm gonna put them out or probably next weekend Need to make some space they're getting too big on the like the fourth node so once I've once I've put them in they'll uh, they'll settle because we've got good root system and what what I found with doing this gorilla shit is you don't need big plants to put outside but what you do need is plants with a really good root system so when you're repotting you take when you take your plant out your little pot check your roots your roots should be filling that pot before you plant it and then you are good to go if you put a put a weak plant in a especially into some super soil if that's what you're doing got to make sure your plants are established before you put them into the super soil else you'll just kill them you'll burn the fuckers oh, I'll tell you what it's a right fucking pain to get to the site but Old so anyway. Because of shit that I have to do. I don't mind showing you in it because I don't use this site anymore. I just have to go drop my fucking phone in here. Right, hold on, bear in the phone with me. <laughs> so yeah, everything's good. I've had a really good germination uh, year this year. 
I'm at about 95% German outro. Uh, I think Dutch Passion. Oh shit. Dutch Passion, great genetics. They come up fucking before you even put them in the soil, they're ready to go. And then, who else have I had good luck with this year? Uh, Discreet Seeds, Autos. They've come up lovely. Uh, I got them quite cheap as well. I think I've got about 20 seeds for 25 quid. Autos now. And uh, they've worked out pretty fucking well so far anyway. Real Gorilla Seeds I had 21 strains of them. I think out of 21, uh, two or three haven't come up. So, which is much better than last year. Because last year I had 18 and only about 10 of them come up. And then I, I emailed them and told them. So they sent me out a few more seeds. And the seeds that sent me out didn't fucking germinate either. So it's a bit of shit to them. And what I find in real gorilla seeds is that seeds are so fucking fragile. You know, they take four fucking days, four, four or five days to come up. And when they do come up, the shells are stuck to the tops. That's all right, fucking palaver. But if you get lucky and you get a nice pheno, it's worth it because they have got some great genetics. Woo! And that's how I used to get to that site, guys. Motherfucker. Right, yeah. So. Yeah, hold on one second. Oh. Alrighty then. Right, so. I am. Um, So I'm riding past. <laughs> yeah, so I've got three plants at one site. I've got eight plants at another site, all for periods. And that's about it for now. I chucked a few out just to uh, see how they get on. I'm no way I'm putting a load out this time of year. But <clears throat> I chuck a few hardy sort of like fusion dew dutch passion i've got pineapple express g13 really mold resistant cold resistant so you know i've thought about what i'm putting out i'm not just putting out fucking any old shit because they're not going to work is it especially these cali strains you know you're trying to grow a fucking cali strain in the uk <sighs> Trust me, you're going to be so bastard disappointed. You've got to, you've got to be really clever about it. <sighs> about what you're growing. You can't just stick any old fucking thing out and hope for the best. That's not how this game works, man. So, I'll leave a video about here, I think. I've got a few more bits to do tonight. I've got to go, um, oh, I wonder if I should do that now actually, yeah I'll tell you what, I want to head to another site where I've put some plants in about a week ago and I have been back there so if you bear with me I'll, uh, I'll upload another little clip um, in a bit, Joe.